and why I had to work three days at Le Palace, aka the strip club, in order to afford them shoes, like. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, BDNA, and if you're new here, welcome. Feel free to join us in my little corner of the internet by subscribing down below and hitting that notification bell so that you're notified whenever I upload. So for today's video, I'll be actually bringing you guys a shoe haul, just like a collective shoe haul of all the shoes I've been buying from my past shoe haul until now, so in between that time. If you guys are interested in these shoes, sidebar, I wear a size 10. If I can't find a 10, I buy a 10 and a half. If I can't find a 10 and a half, I buy a 11. That's just how I go. So mostly in like my heels and stuff, I'll buy a 11 for comfort, but generally I'm a size 10. So if you're a size 10 Bigfoot gal like me <laughs> and you're interested in some cute shoes, most of my shoes are comfy sandals, some sneakers, I got some lug sneakers, some heels, if you're interested in that sort of thing. And I do know summer, spring is coming up. So these shoes I feel are perfect for that time of the year. I live in Florida, so I wear sandals and stuff all year round, except for the three days of winter and the five days of fall that we get. <laughs> so if you're interested in seeing the shoes that I've collected, cause shoes have been kind of a thing for me, then keep on watching. So I'm gonna organize the shoes by where I bought them from or like brand, I guess. So the first pair of shoes, I'm just gonna get these out of the way. <laughs> these are actually my favorite, favorite, favorite shoes to wear. Um, I had a pair before, those get neglected now that I found this pair. And it is my Crocs. It's my black and white, like kind of tie-dye-ish Crocs. And these have my BVI gibbet on it. I got it when I visited back home. I love me some Crocs. I wear them all the time. Once you go Croc, you never go back. So the reason why I wear these a lot more often than my other pair is because these are black. These are mainly black. And I wear a lot of black. And it's easy to just slip on my Crocs and go if I'm going to the store, or my Crocs, going to the mall, or my Crocs. Sometimes if I'm going out on like a solo lunch date, solo dinner date, I wear my Crocs because why not? <laughs> if I could wear Crocs to work, I would. If I could wear Crocs to church, I would. I love Crocs. They're very comfortable and easy to just slip on and head out the door. So I keep actually keep these by my door. So that goes to show I wear them a lot. And I purchased them from on Amazon. They were on sale for like $30. So I was like, why not? <laughs> So that is my first pair of shoes that I wanted to show you guys. My Crocs, I love them, they're everything. Moving right along, I never knew that I would be a Converse girl, but here we are. <laughs> here we are, I don't know how we got here, but we're here. I went from having no Converse to two pairs of Converse in like a span of two months. Like with the Crocs, I went from having no Crocs to two pairs of Crocs. It's just, we're just here. We're just here right now. <laughs> so the first pair of Converse are these. They're really dirty because I haven't washed them since the last time I wore them. Shh, sue me. Anyway, so it are these bad boys. These are called, let me pull them up, the Lux Leather Chuck Taylor All Star. I love these shoes. Once you see me have on these shoes, I'm leaving the country, I'm leaving the state, I'm traveling, because these are so comfortable to travel in. The last time I wore them was the last time I traveled. They're very dirty. I went to, when I went back home, I traveled back home, I wear them. When I went to Vegas, I wore them. I just wore them traveling ever since I got them. But yeah, every single time I've traveled, I've wear these since I've gotten them because they're that darn comfortable. I love them. And going to TSA, you know, you'll have on your socks, so you just slip them off, you put them in the thing, you go through, and then you slip them back on. They're really easy to put on and off. So that's why I think I like to travel with them. But these are so comfortable. 
they are everything and one of my friends brianna she said that they reminded her of the alexander mcqueens i don't really have alexander mcqueen and i never looked into them but yeah i guess these can be a dupe for alexander mcqueens if you're into that but yeah I just love these oh my god and these are the leather so they don't get dirty well except for down here this part is the only part that really gets dirty you just get a little baby wipe you clean it off good to go but I've been lazy so I haven't cleaned them but yeah these are the leather it's not the canvas so this part just whatever water whatever gets on it just can easily slide off or you can wipe off whatever but yeah I love these shoes they are everything <laughs> And I also like the little pop of color. So it has like right here is pink. And then on this side, the actual Converse sign. It's a yellow mustard color, the actual Converse sign here. So it is so stinking cute. Like you can put on a little all black fit and then throw these on and you're good to go. You're good to go so the next pair i have is this pair all white these are the converse run star hike platform as i said they're in the white it is canvas so i have to be careful when i'm wearing these shoes but i love i am a love converse girl i don't know when that happened i don't know like i said before i don't know when this happened but i love the lug converse the other converse that are on my list that i haven't bought yet let me show you let me show oh. these are the ones that blue ivy wore so i was like mm, she a fashion girl we we want in the same these are on my list to buy like blue ivy she has taste she has taste. A lot of people don't like these shoes, but I love them. And I'm gonna get them. They're only like 120. I'm gonna get them. When you see me wearing them, just know I told you guys first, I'm gonna get them. My mom's like, those are so ugly. I'm like, to you, to you. I love these shoes. And these are gonna be my next Converse purchase. What you gonna do about it? Fight me. <laughs> Anyway, that's all of the Converse that I have and the one that I'm looking to buy. So next up, I'm going to go into my affordable heels that I have here. The first pair of heels, most of them are from Fashion Nova and Miss Lola, but the first pair of heels I have here are these babies. I actually got these this week. They're an orange color. The light is definitely washing them out. Let me hold them back. So yeah, it's this color. It's actually a dupe for the Bottega Veneta stretch mesh heel. But I got them from my plug, Miss Lola. If you haven't shopped on Miss Lola for shoes, then what are you waiting for? They're called the Reina and they're in the color orange. And I got these in a size 11, I think. Yeah. Because like I said, I get my heels in a size bigger than I actually am so that they're comfortable and I can wear them for a long period of time without my feet hurting. <laughs> you feel me? But yeah, really cute shoes, really comfortable. I've tried them on already. Just, oh, they're just so pretty and I just love them. When I saw that they had these and I saw the colors that they had, I was like, yes, I need orange because I don't really have much orange shoes. And as you will see later on, I bought another pair of orange like slippers. Ugh, orange is that girl. Now I need orange bags to go with them. I've been looking at the Brandon Blackwood trunk, the orange one, burnt orange, but I haven't really decided on that yet, but yeah. I do need an orange bag to go with my orange shoes because y'all know I'm that girl who matches her shoes with her bags. Like I could have on a pink dress, orange shoes and an orange bag and I'll, I'm sharp as hell. I'm cutting, cutting it up. <laughs> the next pair of heels from Miss Lola are these nude heels. They are called the Friday Nights in Nude. I got these in a size 10. They are really comfortable, you'll see that all of my heels, majority of my heels are mules because mules are comfortable to wear. I love these heels. They go with almost anything. You can wear nude shoes with almost anything. Nude shoes are a staple. You should always have nude shoes in your collection. So yeah, these from Miss Lola. I think all of Miss Lola's shoes that I bought were like probably $25 the most because Miss Lola always has sales, always has coupons. So keep your eye out for that. Never pay full price, okay? Never pay full price. We not them girls. Never. 
You hear me? You hear me? Never pay full price. Who does that? We don't do that here. And then still in Miss Lola category, I do have these heels. They are called the Euphoria heel. They look like this. So these are a dupe for the Bottega Veneta stretch heel. You guys would see, I'll put a picture up right here of the stretch heel. And yeah, these are a dupe. The stretch heel goes for $890. And like I said, all of my shoes from Miss Lola were no more than $25. So if you want the same look for a cheaper price, then stick with me. I know the way. <laughs> and then the last shoes I have from Miss Lola are these sandals like I mentioned earlier they are in a burnt orange color they're called the Yacht Club sandal these are in a size 10 like I said I get all my sandals in a size 10 these are known to be the dupe for the Hermes Oran sandal which it does look very similar the Oran though is made of real leather whereas this is not <laughs> But yeah, you get the look for a cheaper price. This is the known dupe, one of them. I think Steve Madden also has a dupe for the Oran sandal. I'm looking into that as well, getting one of those. But yeah, and the Steve Madden one is real leather, so it'll last probably just as long as the Oran, and those are probably like $90 to $100 from Steve Madden, whereas the Oran, I think, would run you like 500 bucks plus. Let me double check that because I don't want to tell a lie. I don't want to tell a lie. Oh, so the Oran actually goes for $630. Whereas, like I said, these were less than $30. These were $16.20, not including shipping. Shipping was like $5. So you pay $20, 20 something dollars for these. And the Orans are $630. So do it with that information what you want. Moving on to the two heels that I got from Fashion Nova. The first pair of heels are these heels. They're called the VIP Attitude Heeled Mules in green. I got them in a size 10. I got these shoes to go with my Brandon Belize. You guys would have seen the unboxing of that. If you haven't, check it out in the iCards. I'll make sure to put it up there. But yeah, I did buy these shoes because they went well with my Brandon Blackwood. They're a sage green shoe. Every girl needs a sage green shoe. Sage green is one of my favorite colors. If you don't know, now you know. But yeah, this beautiful shoe, beautiful structure. And for a fashion of a shoe, I feel like they hold up really well. I've worn them like two, three times already. And look, the heel is still perfectly intact. They still look really good. And they were only like $16.20. So yeah, don't sleep on fashion over shoes. You get a good little bang for your buck. And check them out. The next pair of heels from Fashion Nova, same style. It's a heeled mule. These are called the to the point heels in brown. I got these in a size 11 and the price was $18.89. So what they look like, they have this gold heel. And I got these to go with the brown bag. That's the Bottega dupe that I bought from Miss Lola. If you guys want an updated affordable bag haul, let me know, I got you. I got you. <laughs> but yeah, these Fashion Nova heels are good as well. I've worn them quite a few times in Vegas. I wore them a past weekend to go to a birthday party. Well, a birthday dinner. So yeah, really good heels. Fashion Nova has really good heels. They're really cute and they're not expensive. We love that. Now moving on to my more expensive shoes. These are more designer shoes. If you're interested in designer shoes, a design, these are both slides, so two designer slides. If you're interested in seeing it, stick around to this video because I'm going to talk about them right now. <laughs> so the first pair I have here are my Inez slides from Tory Burch. These are also said to be a dupe for the Oran sandals. They're not visibly similar, like the same, but they have the same concept, the same real leather and holds up really well, the same kind of fit. 
so yeah these I bought in a size 10 and a half because I didn't want to spend my because these shoes go for like about $228 and I didn't want to spend $228 and then have the shoe be too small have to send it back have to wait da, da, da. so I was like you know what just be on the safe side get you a 10 and a half and I did and they fit perfectly I love these shoes these shoes have become a part of my uniform if you've watched my vlogs you'll see me wearing that peach dress from Walmart these shoes and then the brown bag that matches these perfectly from Fashion Nova that is my uniform I've declared it my uniform so if you see me in it a lot I already told you it's my uniform my business so I do love these shoes I wear them every time I go out like it's not a heeled shoe occasion but it's not a crocs occasion <laughs> so <laughs> so i have three favorite types of shoes my crocs these and some heels if i'm not wearing heels and crocs i'm wearing these or like my michael kors ones but most likely these <laughs> And then the next shoe, I've ordered a pair for myself in black, but they haven't got here yet. So I'll show you my mom's. Hers is in this brown tan color. They're the Double T Sport Slide from Tory Burch. I love how comfortable these are. They have so much cushion in them. <sighs> the first person I saw wearing these shoes are actually my friend Jaff. I saw her post a picture. She was like in an airport and she had her feet up. And she took a picture like her feet and her luggage and i was like where'd you get those shoes i need them she was like girl terry borch da, 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 da. she gave me the whole rundown these shoes go for they're a bit cheaper than the inez they go for 189 dollars but that's because this is padded leather whereas the inez is like full-on 100 percent leather but yeah these are very comfortable shoes i know because i be stealing my mama's to wear them <laughs> It's very comfortable shoes, so as soon as I get mine, you'll be seeing that everywhere as well. I got them in the black, and I'm thinking about get I also bought these for my best friend for her birthday last year. I got her the black ones, and she loves them. She was the reason why I even bought these. I bought these for my mom for Christmas, so she was like, girl, those shoes are so comfortable. I wear them a full day because she does, like stuff with her mom she was like she wore them after a full day and her feet didn't hurt and I was like girl I'm getting these for the dibs I'm getting them for her so yeah and I got them for myself as well so you'll be seeing my black pair of these soon they may replace my Michael Kors one that I have but it is what it is anyway guys those are all of the shoes that I've purchased between the making of the last shoe haul video and now if you're interested in any shoe that i mentioned make sure to check out the description box i'll make sure to list all of them down there so that you can just click and go that's if they're in stock because i know that a lot of the miss lola shoes they are so popular they sell out really fast but if they're there i'll make sure to put them down below or i'll put something similar i got you anyway if you guys have any questions about any of the shoes that i bought make sure to sound that off in the comment section down below also tell me of any shoes that you enjoy that you think i would like like any designer type shoes except gucci we don't fuck except gucci shoes i don't really like the gucci brand but any other designer type even fashion nova shoes miss lola shoes i wear all types of shoes sneakers i really need to get my sneaker game up but these resellers be killing you man they be killing you i bought my brother a pair of yeezys for christmas and why i had to work three days at Le palace aka the strip club in order to afford them shoes like <laughs> i didn't really work at the strip club but i needed to because them shoes is expensive why Resellers be wanting to kill you. Like, I'm interested in the Easy Foam Runners. And they retailed for $60. Why people selling them for $300? Why? Why? Resellers really, a lot of them just really like messing up. Like, I don't know. I don't like the reseller thing. So that's why you don't see me with like a lot of sneakers. I'm not the type to spend a whole lot of money on something when it's not supposed to be that expensive. Like the people, the companies, Nike and stuff, already selling these shoes at up charge because these shoes are made for like $6 and $7 over in China. I'm paying, if I pay Nike 
120 for them that's already a upcharge and then i'm not able to pay nike that one to you guys the resellers pay nike that 120 and then charge me 600 dollars you crazy anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video please ignore my rant at the end especially if you're a reseller i don't mean mean to offend you guys i know you guys do like a lot to get the shoes because everybody want these shoes but y'all be killing us y'all really do anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel join us here in the gang gang because you know and i know so everybody should know that we late over here therefore go ahead and share this video with all your family and friends and all your socials socials including but not limited to snapchat twitter instagram pinterest facebook tiktok whatever you guys have go ahead and share this up if you want you can follow me your girl brie on all those socials as well all that will be in the description box down below for your easy convenience i'm wishing you guys lots of love and light as per usual and now this bad bitch gotta go so i'll see you in the next video bye toodaloo